hello guys welcome once again in this video i will show you how to use date time picker with your c sharp application so first of all let's go to the toolbox and take a date time picker from here and by default if you can see and i will run the program and then show you how it looks like So, so it's loaded now and I entered the username and password and now my second form is open. So this date time from here you can choose any date and you can choose the year also, the month also from here. So like this, you can choose month or date, so, so anything you want, you will be able to choose more. So how to use this date time picker with our application? So in our application, if you are following this video, I have a database in MySQL in which I am trying to insert the values which I put in these text fields sorry so and till now I have been entering employee ID first name last name age and gender now I want to save or enter the employees date of birth so for that I need a date time picker to choose a date of birth of a employee and whatever date of birth we select that should go into the database when I when I press this save button so and the other problem is I don't want this format of the date so this is uh, very long format and I don't want to use this format so how can I change my format according to my use and how can I customize this date time picker according to my project use I will show you so first of all select this date time picker and go to the properties here and in here it has so many properties and you can change the default values and minimum date maximum date you can change if you want and the most important property which uh, you want to change is this custom format so in here whatever format I enter that will appear or date will appear in that format here it can show the time also but I don't want the time with date so I'm skipping that part so for example I want to show the date in the format dd sorry dd mm dash so I want date, month and year separated by these two dash. For date you write small d, for month you write capital M double two times and for year you can write y y y y for the year for example 1996 or so, something. And just go below here and in the format you need to change or select this custom format then only it will appear in your custom format so change custom format here and format and select column here custom here sorry and when you look at your date time picker it looks like this 
so it's really sleek and I can use it in my application now so I will also take a label and I will give it a text I will change its text as DOB for date of birth so here I change the text DOB so here is my DOB and I can select the date of birth but the problem is if you are using MySQL specifically it takes the date in certain format so MySQL takes the date in the format first year then month and then the day but our format is not like that so I need to change that format from here so I will change it once again I will select this first and I will change the format from here so first the year then the month and then the day okay so now it looks like this year day a month and day so once you do that you will be able to insert your date into your database so now the coding part is left so when I click this save button and when I select some date and some data it should be saved in my database so what I have done is I have created a new column called DOB date of birth in my database and here I want to insert the date okay right now everything is null because I just created it so I want this and all the other fields to be saved so let's go to our C sharp application and just double click this save button the save button code I have shown you in the sixth video so if you don't remember this code you can always go to see the sixth video and you know what code I have written here so in here till now I am inserting employee ID name surname age and gender now I want to add the date of birth here so I will change just the query here I will write insert into database dot table name this will remain same I will add one more column for the database so my column name is DOB if you can see here the column name is DOB so I write DOB there I added DOB so insert into database and all the column plus your DOB and then values and we are passing all the values from the text boxes so this was the code which I have shown you in the sixth video so you have added date of birth here so you need to add the text value from the, your date time picker in it also so go to the last here in, in your query where you are passing the values and give comma give single quote double quote and plus and in here you will pass the date which you are taking from the date time picker so I will just select this date time picker and copy its name which is date time picker and once again I will go to the save code and in here in these plus sign I will pass this dot your date time picker name dot text okay so I have taken the date from the date time picker and I am passing into the query 
okay so in the query i have added here one more column and in the values bracket i have added the date from date time picker okay and now when you run your application let's try and run our application first username and password and now i enter any data so till now i will see i have if you can see here 11 entries and i will enter the 12th entry so 12 any name any surname and age is 34 for example he is a male and his date of birth i will choose from here so the date of birth is somewhere in the 80s february 18 so 14 february 1980 and when i select save button or when i click the save button my data is saved i can see the message and when you see the database when you refresh this database you see till now we have 11 entries and when you refresh this database we have one more entry which is our 12th entry and date is also added into the database okay and in this way you can add the date into the database using c sharp application and using date time picker if you enter or if you change the format instead of year day and year month and date in here for example you change the format of date time pick picker to day month and year let's see what error we face okay for wise so it's showing first the date and the month and the year and now when i run the program login is correct and i will and uh, 14 uh, 13 any name any surname age female and i select any date of birth from here and when i click this save button i get an error says saying that incorrect date value here so my sql always takes uh, the format first year then month then day so keep in mind that this is just specifically holds true for my sql database okay so just change it here and you will be good to go so in this way you can use your date time picker and insert the date into the database So I hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now